Okay, so we are basically just... It's early Act 5 still. we got a long way to go. So I think we're, we're making our way over to um, Baphomet Shrine to help uh, Ember out with her little quest and stuff. That's the group right there. Uh, I'm not ready to stop, stop moving yet. Armies are ready to do their thing for the day. So this is our main army. They're all crushing the bad guys over in this area. Guess we'll head down that way. Or head over that way. So that's the sacred land. Oh no, that's a stupid puzzle thing. Okay, so you guys. The demon army here, how bad are you? Elementals, mostly. Okay, we'll go in and see what it's like. Desolate thicket. It was heavily, hardly visited by anyone, even in the old days. Of course it wasn't. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so. Air Elemental is not too worried about the Ola, Oleo Drew. Uh, we don't like them so much, so we're going to look at all the flies. Fireballs. Them come to us. Rangers, shoot them. Okay, they have more hit points than we thought they did. Still dying though. Axe guys, whittle them down. Do it again. So we're lucky with our morale bonus right now. Actually, I don't think it's luck. I think the general actually has that stuff. Oh, look. Fireballs. Oh, and look how many are in the middle of it. So the the Hell Knight signifiers are pretty strong. Watch everything die. It's paladins. I think we're going to be in trouble here, though. Hey, Ring, welcome back. Signifiers, they have fire... Yes, they do. And Fireball now gets buffed by your spell power or whatever in your towns. Now gets buffed by your spell power or whatever in your towns. The Signifiers? The Signifiers... Well, we'll see what they're... Uh-oh. Wrong button. So this is going horribly well. There are buildings that will buff your spell casting power. Oh, okay. Did not know that. They already checked the fireball and it took a big old chunk of the enemy. It, it did. They're, they're, the signifiers are strong. Decimated here, though. Yeah, this army is too tough for us, I think. So the fireball here. Power times D6 times number of units. We had 25 of them. <laughs> Cure wounds. Do we have a breath of life? One friendly unit within range. Power times power plus 5 D8. Power times fire plus 5 times 2 D8. And we don't care about the fireball hitting the angel because angels are immune to fire. Not enough. I still remember, can you take a look at, look over your town buildings? I was going to anyway because of what you were talking about. This is just dumb. We're not going to win this fight, so. 
I was kind of ambitious there. Going to level 8 army against a level 11 demon army was not the best idea. Especially at this point, the army's not very... Uh, it's still in the rebuilding process, in all honesty. It's still in the rebuilding process. Traveling. Back from socializing with some very uh, old acquaintances, and while I'm happy we saw them, you're so tired. That's the way it usually works, doesn't it? Oh, signifiers too. Five more. We got lucky with our mercenaries and got the signifiers. Because you can have. I don't think you can have enough of them at this point. Thirty signifiers now. It's a lot of fireball strength. Okay, let's see if we can beat up on them. Not today, though. Okay, and then town stuff. I already used my reinforcement spells for the week or whatever. How are all in the dock? Your reinforcement spell thinks might benefit from arcane power or whatever. No, it's the 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 ones that we have are based off of I think um, mythic ranks. I think or something. I don't know. We'll have to look at them. But anyway, so buildings. I have the military academy, main hall champions, hall of strategy, teleportation circle, supply center, market, bulletin board. Engineer's Workshop, Training Grounds. So, what building would I be looking for? Alchemist Laboratory. Plus two bonus to energy. That's energy, though. I am looking through the list. You're slacking. It's not the Alchemist Laboratory. Arsenal, we already have one of those. Citadel. It's not the Citadel. All of glory. Reduce the cost of recruiting mercenary units by 5%. That's not it either. All of strategy. Attack and defense. And blah, blah, blah. Plus two bonus to power for all generals. That power is... Is that it? I have a hall of strategy. Hospital, isn't it? Mercenary guild. That's not it. Military Academy, already have one. Pathfinder Society, plus one bonus to AC, and number of all mercenary units. Sanctuary, that's not going to be it either. Shelter, nope. Smithy, nope. Training Grounds, nope. Watchtower. So, I don't know what building you're talking about. It's not. I don't see any buildings that do what you're talking about. So we're going to be building a mercenary guild so we get more more pick from the mercenary list so we can get the uh, you know, stuff. We need to see what the stat was called. What stat exactly are we looking at? So there's power, hit points. No, oh, maybe it is. There is a couple of building, buildings that mention power, but I thought that was um, mana.
And so her power is fifth. Now maybe it isn't mana. Or is it? Oh, energy. It's energy. So maybe it is power. Plus 10 bonus to energy for all... That's mana. Apothecary. That's not it. Arsenal. Citadel. That's not it either. All of Glory. That's not it. Hospital. That's not power. Sanctuary. That's not power either. Shelter. No. So none of them actually... Bonus to attack and trainable stuff. Shelter, that's not power. So the Hollow Strategy adds plus two bonus to power for all generals, but not units. Arsenal, it's AC. Not the carry. There's this bonus to hit points. Alchemist Laboratory. It's energy, that's mana. None of these buildings are adding power to any units, though. There's the one that adds power to the generals, but not to individual units. Oh, look, Rocket's on camera. He was just in here. Gate diplomatic relations have improved. The back council requested the crusade leader attend their meeting and receive an update on the report. Or an update report. Whatever. Sake of testing, can you build one or two of those halls of strategy that buff your general's power? I think I already did. Second, though. Do you want more angels? Drake training. Income. Recruiting angels. That sleeping dog is zonked out so hard he didn't realize this is a live camera until like kind of second. <laughs> Second one on screen. I know. I need to put a little caption down there, not a screenshot. It really is live. If you look really, really carefully, you can see him breathe. Halls of Strategy. There's our Hall of Strategy right there. So, plus one bonus to attack and defense, and plus two to power for all generals. It's only plus two to power. Hey, Beacon, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. It's only plus two to power for all generals. I'm not sure it's actually doing anything. Because the generals. Yeah, maybe it is. So his power is 26. Hers is 50. I'm not sure how power is calculated, right? Because there's some stuff here that can help with that. But what it is, I don't know. All the strategy, there we go. Rise of plus. So that's actually what this is coming from, right? That's the effect of the hollow strategy. Power in general buffs their spell damage, and the Baroness has a crapload more, crapload more level than and the other guy. I know. Signifiers for a sec. I want to see their current power. Seventy-five. 
The only spellcaster really in the group, too. Another oh, 18 there. For the paladins. Divas of 23. I'm pretty sure they came that way before I even recruited them, so... Okay, so you guys have moved for the day. You guys are headed down this way. Now we have buffs. 14 hours left, so it looks like we're okay. Okay, let's go do Ember's thing. I see them. Look, uh, there they are, a demon, and a toil is there too. Uh, sorry, and toil is there too, standing right in front of him. She doesn't seem scared at all. Tazgarod, bring them to me. Lord Baphomet will be pleased, especially after he sees the blood of the apostates. Yes, so mighty Thrasgrod. Thrasgrod. Garod. Did you really think you could just walk away from the cult, says the Templar? You belong to us forever. No one will save you now. No, not gods, not people, not even your weak little preacher. Ember. These poor Templars continue to serve Baphomet. They do so many terrible things and don't understand that they can stop at any time. They still don't understand even when people who manage to mend their ways are standing right in front of them. They must be very stupid. Let's go over there, Gimpy. Hurry. The redeemed knights can't hold out for long. They need our help. And these stupid Templars, how can I make them see they are wrong? You still hope to persuade the Templars to repent? Everyone who could change their minds has already done so. These Templars should not be persuaded, but destroyed. Still hope they can be persuaded to repent. I don't want anyone to die. Each, each time we have to kill someone, it's not a victory, but a defeat. We lost someone who could have become our friend. I know this is war, and killing is part of war, but I'll save every person I can. There's a warm glow in Ember's eyes. She radiates goodness, but also such, steadfast, but also such steadfastness that it's clear few people will find the words to contradict her. Tazgarod, forward, slaves of Baphomet, prove to the master that you are worthy to serve him. Hold on, redeemed. We, uh, don't take a single step back. We have no right to lose this battle. Turda. Ember taught us to win despite fear and despair, and the situation is scary and desperate beyond belief, right? That means it's time to win. Don't give up. We're on our way. Let's top off on buffs. Oh, Lord Baphomet, smite those pitiful freaks. Baphomet, poor old Baphomet, do you really hear us? Then I beg you, stop making these good people hurt others. Baphomet, hear our words. We mean no harm to you or these good people. Enough of war. Let us pray together for peace. Are they praying for Baphomet's salvation? Have they gone insane? Or, or have you been the insane one all this time? No one wrote up the signifier stat table online. I think it's a new unit ring. I think the signifier is actually new. Ish. I haven't seen him before. Aru. Where's your dinosaur, Aru? And why doesn't it want to be your friend? I don't know. Anyway. Not Quarry. Ranger's Bond for against demons. Pick on the poor demons. Okay, Sela. Go get... Oh, only he... The he. Guide my blade. Uh. Poor Navashini. It sucks to be you. Lunchtime. Let's dine on mortal flesh. Oh, hello. 
With a carefree smile, Amber waves at the demons. I remember you. We met in the Purple City. She looks at one of the demons, a frail-looking creature whose horns have been broken off. How are your wounds? All healed up? It's that lunatic from Evolutionera. Remember that crazy mortal who preached to us? Are you supposed to detonate that guy in one round like that? When you're a paladin of almost 18th level with the Holy Avenger, I think so. Yeah, it's here, all right. You know, you know what? Go ahead and slit my throat. Eat me, do whatever, but I'm not going to kill her. Says the conqueror. Come and join our side. Let us put an end to this war together. That's right, demons, mortals. We can all be friends. The warrior's face is reflect her inner struggle. With a deep breath, she. Sorry, Sila. With a deep breath, she finds enough strength to smile at the monsters. That's true. Respect, reject evil, and we'll accept you as our friends. Arushale, look at me. I'm a succubus, but I managed to save myself from the uh, corruption of the abyss. You can do it too. The conqueror, she's right, you know. What's the point of all this never-ending slaughter? Keep fighting. The whole world is want, but I'm done. Screw this invasion. Screw the world wound and screw Baphomet twice over. Calavacus, are you crazy? I'm going to make you wish you never said that. Conqueror. Go on then, kill me. Life in the abyss is no life at all. The girl was right. Better to live five minutes among mortals than return there with you, scum. Peace with mortals, down with Baphomet, says a Brimorak warrior. Friends, thank you. We won't let anyone hurt you. Thank you, little preacher, for opening our eyes. The demon turns to her former allies and bares her teeth. Well, who wants to be the first to attack the demon crusader? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so, Aru. Closer. Are they out of range? They can't be out of range, are they? Guess they are. Shit. Rangers bond again. And Veronica, you're all ready to go. No? Yes? Ah, Sucks to be a demon. Okay, all burned up. So, turn those off for now. Bob. Bob can charge. Trip him. Just like that. Not dead, just laying on the ground in the mud. Okay, Darren. Six stuff. Well, that's gonna hit stuff. So that's a level seven spell. We got everything good for that doing. That's level six. That's level six. Quicken. That's level six and level three. So just this one. Burn. 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 Ring. Do you not have freedom of movement on Darren? No. He doesn't need it. He's fine. He's got Firestorm. He doesn't need anything else. Sila. Into the fray. See what happens when you miss, though? He looks a little worried. Do you have Sorcerer's Reflex on him? Um, do we? I don't think so. I think I gave it to Ember when she just leveled up. So she can do level six stuff, but Cloak of Dreams doesn't help us. Greater, hero greater Heroism. Mind Fog. All creatures, though. Hold monsters. Oh, we should be able to get two of these, right? Saving throw fail. Okay, so does she not have Sorcerer's Reflex, or did I misinterpret what that's supposed to be? She does have it. First spell after initiative rolls is after swift action if that creature spell is either first level or is at least two levels lower than the maximum level of spell she can cast. 
So that should be level 6 spells, right? He should not have been able to cast a move. He only moved 5 foot there, but it looked like more than 5. I don't know how far he moved. Oh, I did give him a Sorcerer's Reflex. So he does... Yes, the answer is yes, he does have it. But that also explains why she was able to cast too. So... Ow. That was unnecessary. Oh, sorry, that hurts friendly demons too, the hail of those. Okay, Aru. Range? Shouldn't this be in range of the bow? You would think? I thought it was close enough for that. It's not. Strike with all your might. Slap one with a 24 hour freedom of movement so he can act, act normally on his first turn. He's fine, trust me. He's totally fine. He's better off not running into combat anyway. He's 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 much better just sitting back and waiting. Bob's doing all this work anyway. Dun, dun, control fire. Oh, that's going to burn our little friends. See, it's fine. Go the spastic demon. Ah, blindness. Looks a little tired. See? He's tired. I almost killed him. Rumorax on our side. I... Okay, the only one left. Good dice rolls, Gimpy. Holy crap, that was horrible. Holy crap, that was horrible. Why? I tell her to do a five-foot step and then she doesn't attack. Why wouldn't she be able to attack after five feet? I don't understand what's going on with uh, Aru. And there's our level up. Do you have the amulet on her? What amulet? What amulet? I'm prepared. Good shot. Oh, that's why point blank is friggin' on. 
It's right there. That's why it's not. she's not shooting. I don't need to take your hammer. She had rap point blank shot on. She won't take a shot unless if, unless she's 30 feet or under. That was turned on for whatever reason. <sighs> That's okay. It'll be fine. I'm more annoyed that friggin' Bismuth is bugged to hell. What amulet is she wearing? I don't know. Allow me. She's using the wind breath. Plus four morale bonus to wear is initiative check, so initiative. So that she can shoot things faster or better sooner. Okay, welcome to level 18. Gimpy is staying with Crusader and just spells, maybe? Spells. So caster level is now 26, is that right? 18 plus whatever range we're at. So we still can't do level 10 spells. So Gimpy literally got nothing this level. You got nothing. You can do uh, 24 hour round level buffs. Is that, is 26 high enough? Caster level? Oh, because that'll go. Because this is 26 rounds, which is two and a half minutes, right? Yes, the extended spells. So some we have some extended. Like I think the holy aura. <laughs> we don't have any of them memorized at the moment. We'll have to go through and do these after we're leveled up. Because that's gonna take a little while. Animal Companion, level 18. Mobility. Perception. Go Espresso. A bright future awaits us. Yeah, six, six seconds times 26. Well, it's 10 rounds per minute. 10 rounds in a minute is what it works out to be. So 20 rounds is two minutes. So 26 rounds is... So six. So where is it? Twenty rounds is two minutes. Six rounds is another half. It's a half a half a minute. So double that gets over five minutes. And when you go, wait a minute, I thought it was ten minutes. No, sorry, twenty six. Yeah, that is. That's no. Something's not right. Is it over five? I thought it was over ten minutes. It is five minutes. Okay. I thought it was 10 minutes. I don't know why it was five or 10, but it's five. So we're good. So we're good there. Rely on me. Okay, so Paladin. The last of the mercies. Cursed days. Sneezing. Uh, let's see, exhausted, poisoned, shaken, sickened, staggered, or stunned. Fatigued, diseased, confused, paralyzed, blinded. Uh, stunned. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Be stunned. Out. I'll make 
Yeah, Veronica, you get uh, another wild talent, which I have no idea what's going to be. Gold adaption, connect restoration, water thing, skill focus, skill kinesis, tidal wave. Call forth a powerful tidal wave as a tsunami. All creatures on a 50 foot line call forth a powerful tidal wave as tsunami. It's only one burn. Huh. Keep blind right full water. Uh, sorry, connect restoration. That's only for herself. Yes, I don't see what else to do. But it seems weird. It's only it's an actual ability. It's an actual it's just an ability. Hmm. Huh. I never used this one. My path. A Rue. Now for a Rue, we were working on a special thing, right? I think we're done with Rogue. Because she gets, what, two more levels? Right? Level 18, so 19 and 20. So, Oh, that's right, we're trying to get to here and here. Let's get open up to level 4 spells. Hopefully it works. So, perception, magic device, trickery, stealth. The other stuff doesn't matter. Hopefully, it gets to level four spell. an issue for her. Speed 40. It is not, actually. Oh, the waiting's never fun. Darren, welcome to level 18. Oh, finally level 9 spells for him, it looks like. Dink, dink. Um, so... Level 9 spell, Energy Drain, Mass Heal, Overwhelming Presence, Polar Midnight, Summon Monster 9, Bent Winds of Vengeance. There we go. See, he doesn't need free action. He's got Winds of Vengeance. Bob. Bob the Bully. Bob the Bully Wolf. Okay, Ember. Ah, X. Animal Servant. Turn a humanoid enemy to an animal and roll, rob it of its free will. Tenses until this vegetable functions as a dominate monster, except the creature does not receive further saving throws to resist the hex. Whenever or not the save is successful, a creature cannot be the target of this hex again for one day. Animal skin. Turns into a leopard. That's agony. Creature within 60 feet, causing them to suffer intense pain. The target is nauseated for a number of rounds equal to the witch's level of fortitude save negates, negates the effect.
uh, death curves. See, we'll save to negate the effect. If it's failed, the creature becomes fatigued the first round of the hex. On the second round of the hex, the creature becomes exhausted. On the third, they die. And let's make a saving throw. Late to rest. Single undead creature and watch him die again. Life giver. It's full run action. Touch a dead creature and bring it back to life. This functions as resurrection, but does not require a material component. <laughs> is that turn for enemies into friendlies? Ah. One conditions. Each time she uses the hex, blah, whatever. If the target is afflicted with the chosen condition, that condition is suppressed for a number of minutes equal to the witch's level. Additionally, the witch grants her target a some bonus saving throws against the effects that cause the chosen conditions for 24 hours. Major healing. The only wounds of a creature she touches to simply close, helping it to heal rapidly. Fast healing 5 for a number of rounds equal to half the witch's class level, or it heals up to 4 points of ability damage from 2 ability scores. Only once per day. So fast healing 5 for half of her level, so that's be 9 rounds. So 9, 45 hit points? Oh boy. But that's not, it's the, the ability score damage is a real big thing. Um... If not to save a successful a creature, it cannot be the target of this hex woman again more than once a day. And the frost needles that slowly work their way into the flesh. The target turns pale and blue and takes one point of constitution damage per minute. Per minute until it dies. Saves or is cured. One da constitution damage per minute. That's not a lot. One round. Eight times this creature makes an ability check. Attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. You must roll twice. Can only be effective once per day. These aren't the best of choices, you know. Well, good luck. i to re-roll any ability check, attack, saving throws, or skill check, making a better result. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Yeah, she's not, she's not a major part of the group, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, level 9 spell for Ember. Elemental Swarm. Um, old Monster Mass. Sure. Can we rest? Apparently we can. So... Gimpy didn't get any new spell slots, but we can do the round stuff now. Don't have any there. Nothing there. So we're looking for spells that last for rounds per level. Crusader said, no, Crusader said just one minute per level. Level five. Ooh, disrupting weapon. If we're fighting undead. Divine power, though. Strength and skill and time. You gain plus one luck bonus on attack rolls, weapon damage, strength roll, blah, blah, blah. For every three caster levels, maximum plus six. Eagle soul? Is he... What level is Eagle Soul? There's our disrupting weapon. 
Eagle Soul. Plus two Sacred Bonus AC, Strength, Resistance, Acid and Fire, Sacred Bonus Persuasion. Any critical threat. Do we have that level 8? We did not do an Eagle Soul boost up yet. Oh, I mean, there's a level 7 spell, wasn't it? So it's a level 9. We have Avenger's Blessing. Now that's Divine Power, Holy Aura, and Greater Heroism for one round per cast of level. So this is the one we'd like to... Oh, this is the boosted version of it. Oh, I thought they extended at it was two levels. No, well, it's one level. Never mind. But sunmarked. I don't, actually don't use radiant ground. Avenger's Blessing is Divine Power, Holy Aura, and Greater Heroism. Sunmarked is a friggin' awesome spell. Sunmarked is... <sighs> for one minute per castle level, so it's 24 hours. The target's attacks deal an additional 1d6 holy damage per four caster levels. So 26 divided by 4 is 6. And any creature striking the target in melee deals normal damage, but also takes 1d6 points of fire damage plus 1 point per cast level. So it's 1d6 plus 26. Have that for the whole party? No, I have it for five people. <laughs> we have it on five people. Or five members of the party. Everyone who's basically doing melee. So it should be Gimpy, the bear, Sila, the horse, and Bob, the wolf. I think they all that that would be five, right? Yeah. So it's the it's the five of them, because you can't do enough holy damage. Now again, this is an Avenger's blessing. So again, this is Divine Power, Holy Aura, and Greater Heroism. So Divine Power is way back here, right? There's Divine Power, which I'm pretty sure we bumped up. We did, so we don't need this one. That's personal. That's okay, it's not memorized. Six stuff, anything good here. So Burst of Glory. As in the area. The time of casting gain plus one sacred bonus on attack rolls and saves against fear effects. Plus one temporary hit point per cash to level. This lasts one round per level. <laughs> and this will last 24 hours. Ah. <laughs> uh. But that's only plus one, right? That's not per level. I mean, it's plus one for 24 hours and save against fear, plus one temporary hit points per cast level. I don't know. Is that worth the holy him? Where's the heal? I guess we won't need Eagle Soul here. We won't need Eagle Soul here, so get rid of you. We could do a 24-hour disrupting weapon for killing the undead that we don't run into too often, but it's there. Um, spell magic, heal.
So deadly ten. Any creature with hit dice equal to or less than your cast level must succeed a will saving throw or be destroyed utterly. So this is something Gimpy should be using because that cast level being up so high. So he should be using that. Okay, level seven. So Eagle Soul got that there. The Holy Him. I mean, each of your ally can plus two luck bonus and attack rolls, damage rolls, and skill checks. While each of your foes takes a minus two penalty for such rolls. But that's when you activate it for the penalty stuff. But the bonuses. Wall of Light. We don't use Wall of Light. I used it once. It's fine, but. Okay, we're just looking for the, the green stuff here. So no level 8 things. There's no rounds here. Get a magical emanation that interferes with all illusions within a given creature. A plus 4 bonus on saving throws to recognize them as illusions. An emanation negates concealment. Less than total concealment within the area. Perception checks to notice creatures or object within the area. Again, a bonus equal to half your cast to level. Maximum plus 10. The spell is stationary, a cast on a point in space. It is mobile. If centered on a creature or object, though creatures are, or attended objects can negate the spell with the proper saving throw resistance. Hmm. Bump that up to a level 8, maybe. You dispel magic techs on Gimpy are strong. I would hope so. But it's so much easier just to kill everything. <laughs> Umbral Strike is one round per level. Get a bulk of dark energy. If you hit, the target takes damage. And you're in the blind for the duration. Oh, the duration of that one. Can hit them with anything? Well, that's what the spells are for. Like the, you know, the bolts of from the beyond the white light stuff. Those don't miss. Nah, we don't replace any of those. So, so, you know, like the Storm of Justice, these don't miss. The Shield of Law. Oh, we can bump that up to a level 9. We already have it up there. Okay, so anything at level 8 that's fun. It's one minute per level. Gale of Life. Avenger Blessing. Okay. So, level nine. Shield of Law, correct? What do we want to get rid of? Not Sun Form. Right to the Righteous. Mass Healing. Does Gimpy really need Wings of Vengeance? Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Go check on the dogs. Your next break is in one hour. Use your mother wind effects on any form of... And form a shell of breathable air around you, allowing you to fly and breathe underwater or in outer space. Total concealment against range attacks, gases, and most gas your weapons cannot pass through the winds. In addition, when a creature hits you with a melee attack, you can shape your wind so the lash out the blah blah blah. A creature must make a fortitude saving throw or be knocked prone. Okay, we'll keep that one. So, ditch of mass heal for the shield of law forever. Wish I could replace this. I've got worthless. Sun form. Oh, sun form. That's going to be a level 10 thing once we get there. So shield of law. And then his other. What's your song? Holy him. I thought he had one of his spells was doing the. Uh... 
did I miss? So that was Where are you? Where's the spells at level five? Divine power. Divine power, strength and skill in combat, blah blah blah. No, that's not it. What was it? So this is a regular shield of law. So we keep oh Avengers Blessing, I think this is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, the holy aura on this one. So whoever gets hit by this one has the holy aura. I think we put that on. We should probably put it on Gimpy, huh? It's one round per level. So Avengers Bus, here we go. So this is what we want a level nine spell here for this too. Because we can get Holy Aura and Shield of Law. <laughs> uh. Less right, right, uh, Wrath of the Righteous. It only kills demons. Divine power, only aura and greater heroism for one rep. Yeah, we'll ditch this and go for there. Okay, let me take my break and we'll finish doing the rest of this stuff because we still have a little bit more to do. Got to get those spells situated and the buff bot and everything. So I'm going to get up, share some legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video. <laughs>